Hello, and welcome to this behind the scenes video with me Craig Anthony. I am the club photographer for Harryford FC, and this is a little insight into my role on a match day. I will arrive at Edgar Street around midday. I like to be early as this gives me plenty of time to get prepared and to achieve the shots I need. First things first, I head straight to the changing rooms where I take some images of the shirts already laid out for the players, paying extra notice to any new players we have recently signed and the league sponsors branding on the kits. Then it's straight to pitch side to take some general view shots of the ground and anything that we can use on social media or the website. This doesn't have to be specifically related to the match itself. We call this stock imagery which can be used at any point in the season for various different things such as promotion of upcoming games or even hospitality offers. I'm not sure why he has come to annoy me. He just thinks he's funny. As the weather is nice and the sun is out, I decided to send the drone up straight away, as I was not expecting it on this occasion. Edgar Street from the sky is a fantastic view. Take a look for yourself. After getting the shots I need from the drone, it's back to pitch side to continue with my general view shots of the stadium from ground level. These help to set the scene on social media for the supporters who will not be attending the game. The more visual we can be, the more attractive we become. So it's back to the office where I decide which images I will be sending to the media department where they will choose what images to put out on social media. I generally like to give them a good 10 to 15 images to choose from. Some images may need a little editing before I send them. Occasions like this Photoshop is really handy. So the game begins, and I spend the first 10 minutes getting as many action shots as I possibly can. As well as images of the action on the pitch, I try to get some shots of the manager in the dugout. He seems quite animated today, so I'm not happy with the shots I've got. I'd like to get closer if I could, but I'm unable to move while the ball is in play. So I've got an extender. In this case, it's a times two and doubles my focal length from 400 to 800 millimeters. From my position, I should be able to get some good upper body shots. So, as the 10 minute mark approaches, I select a handful of images I'm going to send to the media team. Keeping an eye on the game at the same time. Being in a ground with supporters, you usually hear when something is happening, but it's good to keep your wits about you.
Boys, me thumbs up. As well as photographing the game, we like to get as many shots at the crowd as possible. These two young men were in the right place at the right time. With next season already in our thoughts, it's good to have images such as this available to us when planning future posts. Two young supporters both wearing the club's official kit with smiles on their faces giving me the thumbs up. Perfect advertisement for our younger supporters. What a ball! Go on skins! Go on skins! As a massive lover of football, I can sometimes get excited at pitch side. Bloody hell. Well done, Lewis. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. It's always a good idea to get the shot on goal, but to continue to focus on the player to get his reaction. If he scores, then that's fantastic. They know where I am, so will usually run in my direction, but when they miss a shot on goal, again, it's good to have that reaction. Every opportunity I have when sat in front of the meadow end, I will turn the camera towards the crowd and get as many close-up shots of the supporters as I can. Pictures of the supporters are always really handy to have. When taking pictures of the crowd, I will look for people who look unique or stand out. This could be supporters wearing official club colors or just somebody that has an interesting look about them. Not everybody likes having their picture taken, so I try to be as discreet as possible. So as the referee blows the whistle on full time, I make my way to the center of the pitch to get some close up shots of the players. We lost the game today 1-0 in frustrating circumstances, so I try to be as respectful as I can. The last thing the players or management will want is somebody putting a camera in their face. So I try to be as respectful as I can, but still capture the emotions of the moment. One thing I love about Hereford is the fans. Win, lose or draw, they absolutely love their football club. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching my video and see you next time. Up the Hereford.